Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is a wonderful Friday, March the 18th, 2022. This is episode number 343 of your three business tips at three o'clock and in around three minutes. <music> Today we're continuing our series. This is part four of marketing. We spent the last three episodes talking about different formulas for titles. We're now going to zero in on the very next element you need to have, and that is called a CTA, which stands for call to action. Inside your call to action, you're going to tell your particular audience what the next step is that you want them to do, whether they are subscribing, whether they're buying or something or other, but you're going to focus on their next step, whatever it is. So the first business tip we have for you today is you need to have a single call to action. In the single call to action, you don't want them to have or give them 10 different options. You may want to get rid of the nav if it's on your website. You want to zero in on the very important thing you want them to do on that page. Is it a purchase? Is it filling out their form? Is it giving you their email? If you ask them to do two or three things, it will confuse them and less likely to have them do that. So you want to zero in on one singular call to action. Marketing tip number two, remember that less is more. If they're filling out a form, they're not going to fill out a 10-page survey. They're not going to fill out a one-page survey. Then you need to reduce the number of questions. At the very, very minimum, you need their name and email, and maybe not much more else. The less things you ask them to do, the more likely they will finish and do that. When it comes to sending out an email, you don't want it to be pages and pages long. Maybe one paragraph with one call to action is better. Brochure, you don't want to show them 10 different things. You really want to zero in on just one thing. Less truly, truly is more. And then finally, you don't want to ask them to do something. You want to tell them to do something. We get too often in the ask equation and we don't tell them enough. In order to get this brochure, click this button now. If you tell them exactly what to do, they have a tendency to do that. In my business, I sell websites. We have a contract and I tell them, okay, to get this started, I need you to make your payment right now. I get 100% of payment up front because I'm not asking them how they want to make payments. I'm telling them they're going to click this button and enter their debit or credit card. So in review, we're talking about a single call to action. Less is more. Tell, don't ask. That's what I'm learning today. Anything I'm learning, I throw with the fence to you because I want you guys to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.